What up everybody, my name is Bill. This is day one of interior camper shell build out. I just scored a $300 Lear camper shell off of Facebook Marketplace from a hell of a nice young man. I can't believe what a score that was. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I'm, I'm going to see my lovely daughter in Texas probably going to be there for about two weeks and I don't want to pay for a hotel room for two weeks and she lives in South Texas where it's tropical there's palm trees there so it's clearly not going to be very cold and I live in Colorado so I'm really looking forward to seeing her I'm looking forward to sleeping on the beach so I'm just going to build out the shell put a bed simple countertops I manage a liquor store so I have access to a ridiculous amount of wine boxes they are, the symmetrics of them are perfect for mini cabinets. It's gonna make this build so much quicker and easier. I'm headed into Grand Junction, Colorado right now to the Lowe's to get the rest of the materials. When I get back, I'll pick up there with you guys and we'll take a look at everything I got, everything we need, and let's get going, let's get to building. Yeah, yeah. What up party people, I am back from the Lowe's and I just wanted to show you my truck, it's a 2009 Tundra. Got this sweet camper for $300 and that is what we are going to be building out. Let's go. So I just got back from the Lowe's, like I said, to show you what materials we're working with. We got this maple ply, look at the grain on this stuff. It is absolutely gorgeous. That's basically just going to be the box to the whole bed platform. It's going to be the bed platform. It's going to be the basically the, the exterior walls to the simple cabinetry I'm going to build. And then this, these one bys, one by twos. That's just going to be the framing and the inner part of all of the boxes. And then these are the wine boxes. It's going to make this build so easy i'm thinking about maybe uh combining like this and then cutting out the center and reinforcing them so i've got bigger cabinets because they're they're small enough they're kind of awkward like a whole lot of stuff won't fit in them but uh regardless they were free it's going to save me time either way and uh you know it's going to be kind of cool when you see these on the outside um and I splurged and I got me some new tools. I am stoked on that jig, router, multi-tool. Came with a couple sanders, um, all cordless. I'm jazzed, it's gonna be great. Those are gonna help so much. And this is the house I built. As if you notice, the floors are unfinished. So you're probably thinking, what are you doing, you jackass? You don't even have your house done and now you're building the camper? Well. This is an intelligence contest because clearly I would lose if it were. But I'm going to get started on this. We're going to get going and uh, we'll pick it back up after I get a little bit of the framing done. All right, folks, we got the, the floor in. I'm going to have to do it this way because I only had four by eight sheets. And I didn't want to seam showing on this side because this side's where the cabinets and the sink's going to go. And the left side is going to be the bed platform. So all those seams are going to get covered. And then once I screw down all of the framing for the bed platform and the cabinets, it's going to make all that stuff sit flush. And uh, I am going to put a little piece of insulation underneath this. And I will also weather treat it. I'll probably just hit it all with some polyurethane. Um, I definitely don't want this thing rotten out. Uh, but I'm going to start on framing all of the, the bed platform and the cabinets for the wine boxes. And let's do this. Hopefully I can get it done in today. I doubt it. Peace. Okay, so here we are. I think I'm going to call it a day. I didn't get nearly as much done as I wanted, anticipated. It's always one of those projects that, oh yeah, no problem. I can get that done in a day. Bullshit. I didn't, um, but I've got the floor in the truck done and I got the bed platform done. And this is kind of what we're working with here. 
So I cut this little hole. I didn't design it to have this flip open, but I figured why not? Might as well. But this is this is what we're looking at. So you've got the wine boxes down there. And there's this little lip on the front right there that catches the boxes. So if you're off road and you're not going to have to worry about your wine boxes flying out. Um, but yeah, should be pretty slick. I'm losing a little bit of storage space by using these wine boxes, but they're going to be real handy. See, so you, you just grab one, pop it out like that. Put them back in. Sorry, I'm a terrible filmer. There we go. Just pops out, sits back in, so on and so forth. So on the two ends, I've got big ones and three little ones in the middle and two little ones at the back. Plenty of storage. Um, but that's gonna do it for day one. I'm liking how it's turning out. And uh, the reason why I'm building this in my living room is because I don't have a garage or a shop. And it was 70% chance of snow today. It's been cold and it was snowing its ass off earlier. And, you know, having these little cordless tools it doesn't make it too bad. Um, so now I just got to build the back piece for up here that's going to go over. That's going to come into the cabinet, sink area, water storage slash solar battery um and hopefully a little bit of closed storage as well <coughs> but uh thanks for checking it out and um when i roll in next weekend i'll fire it back up and we'll catch up with you hello day two camper build out it's another beautiful snowy cold colorado day check this out perfect day for a living room camper build unfortunately i'm going to be a little limited today because i'm waiting on a lot of the materials to come in from amazon like the sink the uh, the faucet the hoses that i need um i do have the water jugs and i do have the cooler that i'm going to be using so i can go off of those dimensions so i think i can get about 90 percent done today um Minus getting the foam, you know, putting a cover on it, getting the rest of my bedding together. Um, but I'm going to do the best I can with what I've got, and I'll catch up with you as soon as I get uh, that framed out. Okie doke. This concludes day two. I got the countertop and the cabinetry work done for the sink. And I set these two platforms up. I measured them so this is the exact dimensions of how it'll sit in the back of my truck got about 16 inches between here i was a little concerned it was going to be tight but i can i can walk straight in sit down and you can see my knees i got all sorts of room and this is where the sink's gonna go right here in the middle and uh I cannot wait for that sink to show up. I found this old beer tin that actually fit just perfect. I couldn't believe I got that lucky. And then I found another one, flipped it around and threw some stickers on it. So that's just some cool decorations. Um, the reason I've got the lip on here is because the sink is the, the depth on it. East to West is uh, 18 inches and this goes out 21 and a half inches so it's gonna fit I left myself about two inch play on either side so that should be fine and then I got my I threw my water jugs in there just so you guys can see that's two seven gallons that's 14 gallons of fresh water I'm just gonna drill a hole in the bottom of my truck to drain out the gray water or if I'm somewhere that I can't do that I'll just simply you know throw in uh a gray water tank on the other side but i've reserved that space for my cooler and eventually um 
Dometic. High efficient chest fridge slash freezer. That would be sweet. And then depending on how that sink fits in there, it only hangs down 12 inches. It's a huge sink. It's going to be a really... That was the one thing I didn't want to compromise on was messing with a small sink. I want to be able to lean over in it. And I got the spray nozzle so I can wash my hair. I can just get down on it and I don't have to worry about making a mess. Um, but I'm super stoked how it turned out. It's super lightweight. I've designed this build to where I can take it apart and get it out of my truck in about 10 minutes because I don't like hardware. And I, I'm going to need the back of my truck. I'm not just building this for a permanent fixture in the back of my truck. So basically, on this side, on the bed side, all I got to do is open the top, slide the top off, get my wine boxes and my gear out of there, and then that whole platform slides out. And then over here, same deal. I'll probably fasten the, the top of the countertop down with... Uh, you know, probably just like two screws is about it. And then the sink will be permanently fixtured into there, but I'll just have to zip those out. Then the whole countertop comes off and then I can take the framing out. And over here on this side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a one by two from that corner all the way over. Cause it'll sit perfectly right on the ledge of where my camper shell meets the top of my bed. I designed it like that, and then I can actually, probably going to go in about as far as a five gallon bucket. Um, and then I'm going to build cabinets up behind my, the back of my cab window. So instead of sleeping with my head on this end, I'm going to have, I'm going to have my head on the other end. So my feet will have plenty of clearance to tuck underneath there. And this will all be storage and cabinetry as well. So I can, I, can, I have all sorts of room for my, my toilet um food you know it's amazing how much space you actually end up when you build something like this i mean i come home every day and i don't even use the stuff on a daily basis that i could even fit into this type of storage i'm, I'm a pretty simple guy so this is going to work out really nice i'm stoked on it um there's really nothing else i can do at this point because i'm just waiting for the sink the faucet the pump um and just the rest of it to complete this thing but there's some busy work i can do i, I want to seal it um definitely want to make this thing last i want to completely weatherproof all the framing and all the countertops and most of all i just can't wait to go see my daughter and this is going to be super handy to have for hopefully a very long time thank you folks for watching we will see you and talk to you soon thank you